Hey, it's Ariel. I am out here on my porch again because I love it. And um, I was just filing my nails with uh, a new electric file I got because I decided to learn how to do gel nails. Like, uh, I just decided that a couple months ago. <laughs> And so I've used YouTube to um, learn how to do it and Amazon to get the uh, stuff. And, you know, it's happening. These two are kind of half done right now. And these two um, are done. And this is my finger splint that I have to wear. Um, but I can take it off to show you how beautiful it is. Um, but basically, like, you know, I do this. I find something that brings me joy and before it was knitting um i've had to stop knitting for a while because of my wrists were really bothered it's like it would just aggravate my wrists if i did more than like uh, it just was too easy to aggravate my wrists basically um and so i decided to take a break from it for a while and then i was just feeling like i you know really wanted to, i like to do things with my hands you know so finding uh something that's fun you know that um even if I have to switch it up, you know, uh, I definitely like nails and I've done my nails in the past, but I've never learned how to do gel nails. So this is totally new and I am really enjoying it and it's got a big learning curve. <laughs> um, it's just really important that to me that I have things that are fun. And I have to really pace my energy because the last two days I really wanted to work on my nails and I just didn't get to because by the time the day was going along, it was like, I don't have enough energy. And that's really hard to discipline myself to not do the fun things. But if I do manage to, you know, pace myself and life is not crazy, um, where I just can't pace myself, which is what's been happening recently, but not yesterday and today um so i it was able to do some tonight and you know i have to let go of the outcomes i have to let go of what it's going to look like because it's not going to be what i would want it to be if i were healthy and my hands don't shake right my hands totally shake and it makes it way harder and i you know there's two things there one is which i had decided to stop doing my nails a while ago because my hands were shaking and it was so frustrating. I was doing wraps at the time and it was so frustrating and I just stopped for like a year. And then I realized like, but I like having my nails done, you know, and I want, I want to do them. So I thought about it and I said to myself, like, if I want to have my nails done and I want to do this, if I just don't get upset about the fact that they shake, <laughs> And the fact that it takes 10 times as long and longer than it used to doesn't look maybe as good as it, I used to be able to do, which is a hard one, you know, letting go of the same level of doing something. Um, and if I just, you know, do what I can, I can do my nails. And so it takes me a really long time and my hands shake and it's really hard and I do them. And I also, like I said, now I'm trying a new thing and it's so important to have things like this that are fun for you and being homebound you know I find ways to have fun even if you know it's totally different than what I used to do you know dancing is my favorite thing to do so I listen to a ton of music and I absolutely love Spotify <laughs> and I mean I can't even tell you how much I have Spotify going um, it's so cool because you can listen to anything and oh I was gonna make a video about that about how much I miss music festivals um, but like I said just finding things knitting you know other stuff and then when the knitting isn't possible like finding another thing to do that's fun and interesting and I realized I keep, I like to keep learning new things. So if I can't keep doing something like, and keep learning, then I kind of want to move on to something else because I was having some memory difficulties also with the knitting and that was making it really hard. So, you know, this doesn't have a lot of memory involved, but it, it, my hands do shake, so it's hard. 
Um, but my goal is also that I'm thinking as I'm doing this, like the fact that I'm probably going to deteriorate, right? And my hands are one of the things I have the most trouble with, with this joint disease. And even in the last year, it's gotten a lot worse. And my thumbs are now super unstable. And I'm thinking, okay, how can I make this so that in a year, if I can't do it the same that I'm doing right now, I can make, adapt it some way for me and then for other people so that we can all do it. And I was just like, yeah, I'm going to just try to do that as I'm doing this. And then if I start to get worse, try to find a way to do it and adapt it so that, because not just for me, but for other people, like, I don't want to give up the hobby that I have when there's another way to do it. You know, I mean, there isn't always, but I really hope there is this way. So I hope you go have some fun and find something that you enjoy.